Hi teachers, this is Marcy again. We talked in one of the previous videos about using our shapes. One of the things that helps you a lot when you begin to start working with things is locking them into place. If we would have kids coming up to the board to manipulate and interact, which is our ultimate goal, what we have to make sure of is that we only allow the things that we want to move to move. So say I was coming up here and I might drop in some words and have kids draw lines. I might want certain things locked into place. And so to lock something, if I click on that object, again I come back to that marquee tool handle, uh, toolbar handle that we talked about. One of the tools in it looks like a little file card. And when I click on that file card, I have an option to go to locked. Once I click on that and something is locked, I can no longer move it. Even when I click in my mouse and drag, it just brings up a box. It doesn't even let me select the object. Whereas something that I haven't locked, when I click and move, I can move it around freely. So let me show you that again. I would click on my object into the marquee toolbar handle click on the one that looks like a file bar. Now notice it flips sides because in this case it put the toolbar at the top but on this one it brought it to the bottom because of placement on the page. So I'm going to click on this and I'm going to hit locked. Again this one is completely locked, can't move. Now a couple things you need to know. If you wanted to fix a page or make a change on something to, that you locked, there's two ways to go about it. The simpler one is to come up to this little tool right here called Design Mode Tool and click on it so that the little snowflake is orange. Orange is the mode that you would use when you are designing or building a flip chart. Notice that my object right now moves. If I click back into the blue mood, mode or at the board mode, that object no longer moves. And so this simply allows you to come back in and make adjustments without having to lock and unlock. Now, Let's say that I totally wanted to get rid of something and I didn't want to go into the orange design mode. I also have the op or I actually have to come back in and grab it in here, but I can come into here and unlock it this way. Then I can start working with it here. So even to delete it, you're going to have to go into that design mode to get rid of it. So again, it tells me you need to enter design mode to select locked objects and so it warns me and it even tells you a couple of ways to get there. Again I'm going to just go this way, grab my object and I'm going to do that and I'm going to unlock it. You can even come in, um, right now you can see everything moves freely. You could come in if you want and you know this is where you want them and you want them staying together. We previously discussed grouping so I'm going to quickly come in here, click so it's yellow and click off. These objects are now grouped. Once they're grouped I could say okay that's perfect this is where I want them. I can click on them, come into that little bar and I can hit locked. And so they can be locked and grouped as well. If you wanted to put a piece of text in and lock it you could click on the text tool change any settings you wanted to, click so that I can start typing and I could do something like this, triangle. Now if you're going to do this, a reminder, you may want the words to be separate in separate boxes so that they could be moved separately. So to do that I'm just clicking in to start a new box each time. And so again I'm just going to click off, click again, and I can now type here. And so I could do something like that. And at that point, I could either put the words where they could be dragged. Maybe I could mix up the words, put them all up here. And I could come in and put a mark or a box where I want them to be dropped. If I just wanted the kids to maybe draw lines, then I would probably want to drop these words into this spot. Again, it's probably easiest to go ahead and just group them in. I'm going to make sure they're grouped, and they are. Make sure they're exactly where I want them. And once they are, I can come into here and lock them. And that way, a child could come up to the board, grab the pen, and you could ask them to come. And you could say, where's the triangle? And they could draw their line. Okay? Um, so that is being able to lock. And remember, this is your kind of magic button to get back in and make those adjustments.